day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Because, I mean, you know, there may be the things that we're doing around people because uh, because uh, familiarity does breed contempt. And sometimes we get familiar, we let our guards down, certain circles, start saying certain things, to participate in certain conversations, whatever, 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 and it diminishes our influence. So I just think it's a good, a good terminology for me because I look at those things that I can use on a daily basis that's going to sharpen me up or smooth me out, so to speak, and polish me in my in my in my level of influence, and it's just not. And I used to, and, and, I, and I remember saying this at my at my father's funeral, in that it's not just it wasn't just his presence, it was the impact of his presence mm -hmm. that was so amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't just your presence; it was the impact of your presence. And so I think that it's not just our presence in these arenas where we have influence, but the impact of our presence has to be something that even if we don't say a word because i've been around people that have been so charismatic man that when they came in the room even if i was looking somewhere else i knew something had just changed yeah and and and, and for the positive or and i should just say yeah. for the negative but you knew even without looking around matter of fact you looked around because you knew something had just changed mm -hmm. yeah but but yeah. being spirit being that's our nature when we, we don't we shouldn't have to say a thing you know in order for our presence to be felt either good or bad but when we're walking after the spirit the spirit in and of itself affects the area that you're in it's like turning a light bulb on when the light bulb comes on the darkness please mm -hmm. so our nature is such that when we enter into a place the nature of that place is affected Amen. So if how do you extend peace to something and then call your peace back on you if there's not something about your nature, your character that goes beyond just the physical realm. And I think that's where we discount and don't exercise ourselves being the most of the time. But our obedience is an indication to our spirituality. If we do the things that God asks us to do on a continuing basis, I think that's by the scripture that most are going to get. Love your enemies, bless them to curse you, pray for them that is fight for you, you turn the other cheek, a kind word turns away wrath, that kind of thing. Those those things are always with us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank and, uh, you, brothers, man. I just want to thank y'all, man. Tell you I love y'all so much, and I just love yeah. being able to do what we do every Sunday morning, yeah. Thursday when we get thank together. You, I just love that we have this forum, yes. and that we can uh, that we can safely and openly and honestly express ourselves yeah. and be respected for and respecting God. each other. I thank you all for that, brothers. That's amazing. Praise Amen. God. Yeah. Hey, Amen. let us go ahead and uh, get ready to do communion, guys. If you don't mind, I gotta get ready to roll out of here. And uh, Jimmy, that's a good one. I'm, 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 I'm gonna jump on Jimmy's comment. Likewise, you know, this is just a wonderful thing, and we got to give God the glory for it. You Amen, know, man. Uh, he, 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 as uh, as Pastor said uh, several months ago, you know, um, even though things kind of changed, um, this actually made it. Uh, 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 I mean, we're still doing it, you know, and um, we're not you know, we're not in the old facility. You know, matter of fact, two facilities ago, you figure, right? <laughs> and and now we find ourselves here at home. Um, just as effective, if not more effective, realizing that, uh, you know what, we start here in the house and then we got to take it out there in the highways and byways, you know, with the people we affect. So likewise, man, you brothers have been a blessing and, uh, and, and, and uh, you know, God is, is blessing me through through these relationships with you. And this, this is awesome. And, you know, I'm about to go out here to church and, and uh, you know, I'm going to take that take that with me. As y'all were saying, hey, you know, when I walk up in there, hey, the, the, the spirit's coming with me. You know what I mean? Amen. 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 I'm gonna I'll wait for uh, Brother Addison and then we'll go ahead and get started. But uh, yes, yes, yes. Man, this is something. Changing our environment by walking in the faith. Amen. And I thank God for the pastor too, to, that he stays, he perseveres through all this and still makes it happen and always has. And I mean, we got to give some thanks to him because he's allowing God to use him and to make this form available for us. And again, his influence and just what he did with the with the flood, his attitude behind all of that man has been has been a testimony. Amen. 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 Hey, I do recommend it if y'all can consider, Brother Addison, uh, using this type of uh, forum 
to, to fellowship with uh, family members or friends, you know, instead of just a Sunday, maybe like throughout the week, one, you can set up with a day of the week where you fellowship with your brothers and sisters or with your children, or at least invite them to it. Amen. And we just replicate what we do. Amen. And now we can have influence on our, our homes and then throughout the world. Yeah, we ought to make a conscientious effort, each one of us, to try to get one more man to join us. I mean, and try to, and try to, you know, because I think, I don't know anybody that this would benefit from, even in the circle of people that I know. I, I, I just know that there's no way this could not be beneficial for them. Thank and I have to be honest, I've been derelict in, in really trying to influence others to join, which I, I, I'll, I'll admit to that, but I, you know, today it just came to me. I'm going to make a conscious effort to make sure I bring in another brother. That's what Amen. I'm going to do. Amen. Hey, hey, Pastor, um, on, on a side note real quick, you send out the slides. I get the slides, but I don't get the invitation to actually join this Zoom meeting. I, I just don't get it anymore. And the only reason I'm able to join is because I copied the, the, uh, the numbers. Yeah, you know, when, and, I'm, and I paste them in. So if when you send out the slides, can you actually attach the link, the link to that as well? You will do, sir. We'll do. And keep in mind too, if you get it, and Brother Jack will do. But when you get the, uh, the initial invite, you gotta say you just hit save, and then save to your phone calendar, and then it should pop up every, you know, as a calendar invite. So that's yeah, but. I use I don't I don't use my phone. Okay. I use my 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 laptop. So. Okay, I'll do that. I will seriously. But okay. also I should I thought I sent out an invite by email too, and you gotta save it when you get it. If you don't get okay. it, you got a minute. We'll do. Brother Jackson, you gotta go. <laughs> let's do it. All right. Let's go ahead and, and uh, grab our bread, or whatever you might have. Let us pray. Holy Father in heaven, thank you for who you are. Who you are. The one true God. Yes. Alpha and Omega. You're everything that we need, dear Father. And you're worthy of worship. Yes. You're worthy of honor. You're worthy of praise forever and ever and ever. It goes beyond our imagination, dear Father. But we thank you that in your infinite way you have found a way through the gospel to 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 let us know that you are real you are real and we just so thank you mm. we thank you for the love that you have displayed to us through your son jesus christ whom you love yes and you demonstrated that love of, of him yes. and you demonstrated that love for us through his life, his suffering, his death, and his resurrection. Yes. Lord, we don't earn grace. Mm. We can't win grace. We can, we, there's nothing we can do Woo. except for the fact that Praise you me. are God. Lord. Thank you, Lord. And you are love. Mm. And because of that, we have a, a treasure beyond imagination in heaven yes. that we don't deserve, but you've given it to us. Yes, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus, for who you are, thank Son you. of God, the perfect sacrifice. Hmm. And even when we were your enemies, and sometimes now when we behave like we're your enemies, you still intercede on our behalf to God the Father. Jesus, we thank you. And we are fortunate that we can have this ceremony where we can remember you. You did this, you did this with the disciples and we are doing it now. And so dear Jesus, we take this bread or whatever it is that we have in our, our hands and we take it and we are going to consume it and eat it in remembrance of you. Hallelujah. Amen. And now, dear Jesus, we, we take the contents of the cup or whatever container it is that we have in our hands, and it represents your pure blood. 
the only worthy sacrifice that God would accept. And you did this on our behalf. Lord, the rest of us would use any kind of justification we could have in order to come down off that cross. But you didn't do that. You accepted the full wrath of what God the Father had to offer. And we thank you, dear Jesus, because as we continue to say, that impossible way was made possible by your, your life, your death, your suffering for our behalf. So Jesus, now, like you did in the times of old, we bring this forward to today, to today and we drink this cup in remembrance of the blood that was shed for all mankind. Amen. And we thank you, dear Father in heaven. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that is within us. We thank you that you are giving us another opportunity to go out into the world and show that light. Father, there are so many things that were said this morning uh, and, and for your glory. And just thank you for allowing us to be able to experience that. Thank you for this fellowship that you, you've given us. It has been a blessing to all of us this morning who, who are hearing it live and for those who will hear it in the future. For your glory, honor, and praise, dear Father, we say in the name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah, brothers. Awesome, guys. Amen. All right. Let me go ahead, and I'll see y'all uh, soon, Lord willing. Amen. Your, your, your speaker's muted. I mean, your mic is muted. There it is. Hey, consider doing some, set up like in the middle of the week or, or, or somewhere where you do a, a similar form with them. You know, with pressure, you could, how many y'all talk to y'all uh, relevant to you? About the word? You, well, no, no, right. Because um, I was, uh, it's, 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 it's like, if we can create a little form, Elder Johnson and, and Brother Addison, with us, with children willing to participate, or siblings are willing to participate, well, we can just talk about the word. Just you know, what I mean, a form say, hey, this, let's get together on Thursday. Let's get together on Tuesday. So you know, yeah, all of that different schedule. But you're just saying, let's <clears throat> let's make an attempt once a week, siblings or friends or whatever. And let's talk about the word. Let's just talk about the word. In other words, you don't want to, we want to, just like our forum is not to put down anybody. It's to 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 listen, right? And then let the word speak. Let's you know say, hey, well, let's look at the script on that. Let's let's see what the scripture says about that, right? Because because everybody got to get revealed to the Holy Spirit, you know, the real meaning of the word of God. But I don't think we ever had this time when we're doing that fellowship. With us. What's going on, brother? Adam? Let's talk about the word. What do you think, Chris? He, he ain't coming up yet. He's muted. But but is that something that's possible? I don't know we we expand our our forum ministry by either family, friends, or whatever. And just just make a maybe once a month, if nothing else. When you get it, it sounds it sounds like it it uh, can be possible. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how how my family would will take it, you know, if they would uh actually participate. I know how busy like like my uh sisters are. You know, they're, my sister's a professor and she's, you know, online and in person. So she's, she's tied up, you know, uh, and another sister she's busy with her, her work and everything. And uh, my brother, he's available, but he's kind of iffy yeah. about, about, uh, about the word and stuff. He gets a little flighty when I, I start talking about it or he, he'll kind of joke, joke it off. But he's always been that way. You know, um, 
I found out, but as I said, one of the things is that a lot of people, with first of all, with going to World Changers, is that that was the first church where they actually opened up, you know, and encouraged people to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and um, as the man is going over the scriptures. And I actually started doing Bible studies. I was inspired to do Bible studies in 1993, 92 to 95 because I was going to a church that actually encouraged us to open the Bible up. Uh -huh. And I was sitting there saying, you know what? A lot of people don't do this. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't get, they don't open up the scriptures. Some of the people even got Bibles in their cars and the only time they bring that, open that Bible up is when they get to church. Yeah. And, and if I think, if you remember, a lot of the traditional ways is that somebody, at least on military, and, the, and, the, and I think also in the uh, Baptist, that's where faiths have come from, uh, and the, as well as the Church of God in Christ. Elder, didn't they, didn't they read a scripture in the morning at the beginning? Maybe somebody would read the scripture and somebody expound on it? Yeah, so they, but did they? I mean, at least in Baptist, we will, uh, and Methodist too, uh, they will, uh, somebody will come up and read. They have an Old Testament scripture and a New Testament scripture. Yeah, right. A read. And then some of the preachers had people that would pre read. Yeah. And then they would expound on the scriptures. It's, it's, our culture developed in such a manner that our people didn't read. I so a lot of stuff that we learned, we learned by rote or we learned a couple years somebody else said. Right. We couldn't read. We couldn't read. And so we are actually now in this kind of setting coming to a full knowledge, a common knowledge of what the word actually said. Right. right. So it, it has been some years. I mean, to me, I, I'm having this. This has been some of the best times of my life. This moment at this table, yeah. You guys have been some of the most spiritually enriching, enriching. Uh, I've had, man. I mean, this is this for me is like going to seminary and better. I know. You know what? You know. I think, and, and I think we'll all of us agree is that what what happens is we create a form where the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yes. Scripture. Yeah. Right and that that is my uh my take on it. I, yeah. I truly believe that the Holy Spirit is bringing uh revelation. Revelation knowledge. Not 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 that uh we're just reading the scripture and getting an understanding. No, we're we're getting revelation. revelation. There, there's a difference. Right. There's a the difference day. between the the, the 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 written word and the spirit of the word. Come on, we are actually getting the spirit. Exactly. God is truly in the midst of our gathering and speaking to us through yeah. one another. Yeah. And affecting this word within ourselves yep. and uh, showing us hidden mysteries. Exactly. And I'm telling you, it's really enriching. It's uh, it's it's life changing. It's moving. It's mind altering. It is right. It is. It really and is. Uh, and 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 not only that, he's just making things available to resources. Come I mean, I, I was telling somebody the other day, I was like, you know, there's a God. He prepared the church in advance for yes, this time. He did. There is Zoom. There is. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what is the FaceTime? All that stuff had to be developed prior to this time yep. so that we can continue in. I'm telling you, my prayer is still being answered, y'all. I know, I know, right? <laughs> there, there's a revival that's taking place in, in, in the United States of America that's almost undercover because everybody's doing it from home. Right. Yeah. We don't get this kind of teaching in a, in a, in a formal, uh, no. traditional church setting. It doesn't happen like this. Right, because I mean, if you think about it, the first person that did it for us was Jesus Christ. Amen. Those people were with him, and he expounded the scriptures to them. Yeah. Three years, three three years running, right there with him every day. That was my prayer. Yeah. I was yeah. so caught up, and I was discouraged because, you know, you get church hurt, and you, and then, uh, you you get past that. Then you then you're going in. And you're like, well, I'm just going to stand in the back and, and just just you know be in the midst of this and get what I can. Right. And then once once I started getting into the word, I mean, the worst thing I can say, which is a great thing, and I and I give uh, uh, 
uh, Bishop B credit for this. He, he may not have done it intentional, but he challenged everybody in the church to read the word, yeah. the whole Bible. Right. Right. <laughs> and, and look, and started. I started doing that. I, I got a Bible CD called the, the Bible Experience. Yeah. And I yeah. play that in my car and over and over. And then I started getting these revelations and the word just started speaking to me. And then I'm sitting in church and I'm starting to hear uh -huh. scriptures taken out of content, used uh -huh. wrong, everything. And I'm like, and then I'm looking around and I'm watching all the so-called elders of the church standing, hey man, you know, praise God and yeah. shout and, and what I'm like, that ain't even what the word is. Yeah. 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 what he's talking about. What's, what's going on here? You know, and so it 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 kind of made me leave. I had to leave that. You know, it, it just it, it, I couldn't accept that anymore. And I tell you, Jimmy, that brother, our 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 encounter was divine. I, I, I tell you, and I know he remembers because that brother, we when I, I tell everybody, I still remember the first day I met him on number one T box on on Pine Oaks Golf Course on the base and i said hey brother how you doing you know and he said man i'm working on the man in the mirror <laughs> that, that stuck with me because he was listening to the word uh -huh. so and I, we got our conversation and everything and he noticed how i was like i knew there was something there that i just wasn't getting uh -huh. And he's like, man, you right there, you right there. He's like, I'm gonna give you this book. He said, but if I give you this book, <laughs> he's like, it's gonna mess you up. It's gonna <laughs> eat your world. He's like, you're not gonna look at things the way you've seen it before. He's like, you're not gonna be able to sit up underneath any kind of teaching anymore. And he he just he prepared me, and I was like, it was almost like the Matrix. He's like, you take this red pill. <laughs> Everything go back to normal, but if you take this blue pill, Woo! you going down the rabbit hole, boy. So I, I took that book, man, and I could not put it down until wow. I was finished. Wow. And my whole world, that book opened up my mind, and everything was placed, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. Everything was in place. I'm talking about from Genesis to Revelation. And the Spirit of God has been really dealing with me and opening up these revelations ever since that. Yeah. So it's amazing how you're, when you hunger and thirst after the Word, man, how God just pours it in you, man. Yeah. He really, really does. So and while I'm doing that, and I'm like, I can't go to these churches. I can't go to church. And I started praying about this. And you know everybody talking about well you need a you need a covering you need a covering and and the spirit always told me it's like well what better covering can you have than the Holy Spirit why do I need a man to cover me you know and, and I'm and I start telling people I was like are they gonna be better than the Holy Spirit you know and and so I couldn't understand that and then you need a you need a church you need a church home and everything and then I'm learning well we are the church yeah. <laughs> you know and, and the church home is within me come on. So, uh, and so then I was like, well, God, I want exactly what Jesus did. I mean, he had a small group of people. Yeah. And, and he he uh, he just taught them in the press on a small level. And it was intimate and it was personal yeah. and it was it was focused Amen. and it was what was needed when it was needed. Yes, sir. So this is what's crazy. Jimmy told me about this Bible study uh, uh, when we first met. Okay. And he's like, it's just some some passes and stuff. And I was like, oh, just just the word passes kind of pulled me away. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes. Because I was like, man, I ain't gonna be in there with all these theologians and <laughs> and, and, and sons of thunder, you know, <laughs> looking at me in my little meager uh, <laughs> self, but. I started to realize that you guys are just men with information about our father. Come and on. I am no different. Come on. And so I should feel perfectly comfortable in any setting. Yes, sir. And anyway, so that's what I'm saying. Uh, 
no different than when I was uh, invited to go to Cairo. Right. Where we met, actually, where we met. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Pastor. Yeah. And, um, and so, and I didn't even know that you were the one that was doing the Bible studies, even then. <laughs> okay. But, uh, but thank God, you know, I, I realized, I was like, man, well, let me go see that this might be what I need, you know, a, a small group of people just doing a Bible study. Right. Because I...